and it's 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 modeling society the way it is and it has the potential to actually change the way we operate moving forward in a more mature um, inclusive way yeah and I love that idea of, of, of maturity because we are evolving mm. you know as a child we wouldn't have I wouldn't have talked about these sorts of things didn't even know what the words were so I'm currently undertaking um, PhD research into the intersection of bias and shame because there's been a lot uh, of contemporary literature around bias and there's a lot around shame and there's some ancient literature which is some of what I'll be looking at the works of Augustine of Hippo who's an ancient philosopher from the, um, the fourth century and looking at what, what's happening with the bi contemporary literature around bias? What's happening around the literature around shame? And I've uncovered two writers already, Jessica Nordle in her book, The End of Bias, where she talks about the term white fragility, where white people get you know very defensive around anything to do with racism. And she says, actually, white fragility is uh, an immature response to shame, the mm. horror of actually thinking I'm racist. Mm. And then the other was an African-American theologian, uh, Willie James Jennings, in his book, Christian Imagination, Theology and the Origins of Race. Fascinating book. But he talks about the shame that is concealed inside the concept of whiteness. Mm. And here were two writers, two very different writers, who could see this link that I'd observed. And I'm thinking, okay, let's see if we can delve deeper. Mm. Oh, I can't wait to see what comes out of your PhD mm. research. And congratulations to you for Thank being you. able to do that. I'll finish with one very quick final question mm. then. Is this shame different from different cultures? You know, we have this as white Australians, <coughs> but do, do people from all cultures have that same shame link or is it unique to Australians? No, I don't believe it's uh, unique to Australians. Bias is a human issue. Mm -hmm. Every human being on the planet has biases. It's just part of how we think. And I believe, given that shame is an emotion, mm -hmm. generally we see it as an emotion, that everybody feels shame as well. Mm -hmm. So I believe this is a human issue. We can look at this from a, um, a global perspective uh, as well. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's about being human and understanding ourselves better. Yeah, and it's about just being open and having a pause and reflect about all aspects of our life and how we operate the way we do. And I suppose moving forward, it's even for me today, you know, to go out into, into the world and think when I go to respond to something, I think about it, I go, is it because of a, a, a pre-formed um, bias on in a certain mm. area or is it an area and I, I've actually really considered my own thoughts. I think we can chat all day about <laughs> that. Yes. Uh, but I, I hope you, our listeners, our viewers have really enjoyed this session. I think it's a really great topic because it affects all areas of our leadership and that's what Women's Biz Leaders is all about. Actually looking at different aspects from all of our guests week after week uh, to actually find out how certain areas affect the success uh, we we have in our businesses and the way we go about life. So thank you so much for joining us today and thank you very much for joining us. You're watching Ticker. We'll have more in just a few minutes.